Why do a medical checkup? Health. Health is expensive, but when you are sick it can be even more expensive. Therefore, prevention is better than cure. As a preventive measure, medical checkups can be carried out to determine health conditions, as well as detect a disease early. The earlier a disease is detected, the faster help can be given. In this way, the disease does not progress to a more serious stage, as well as preventing more complicated relief. Medical checkups are needed by women and men, both young and old people. People who look healthy also need to have a medical checkup, especially to check their level of health and the possibility of serious illnesses that are not yet showing symptoms. In general, the following can be a list of things that are checked through a medical checkup. Weight. Abnormal body mass index, BMI, can trigger various diseases. Obesity can increase the risk of stroke, heart disease, type 2 diabetes, osteoarthritis, hypertension, and cancer. Meanwhile, a physical condition that is too thin risks weakening the immune system, resulting in osteoporosis and anemia. Therefore, it is important to check BMI every two years for people under 50 years old and once a year for people over 50 years old. Actually, BMI can be calculated by yourself at home. How, weight, kg, height, m2. The normal BMI for the Asian population is 18.5 to 22.9. However, if you experience drastic weight loss, are overweight, or have an abnormal BMI, consult your doctor immediately to handle it. Blood sugar. This test is performed for people aged 45 and over, at least once every three years. However, if you have diabetes risk, consult your doctor to get tested immediately, and more often, for example every year. In addition, if you experience symptoms such as sudden weight loss for no apparent reason, frequent thirst and hunger, tingling in your hands or feet, and frequent urination, do this test immediately to determine the possibility of diabetes. Before taking the test, you are advised to fast for 8 hours. A fasting blood sugar test will show one of the following results. Normal, 70 to 100 mg slash DL. Pre-diabetes, 100 to 125 mg slash DL. Diabetes, greater than or equal to 126 mg slash DL. Blood pressure. Normal blood pressure for under 60 years of age is an upper number, systolic, less than 140 mm Hg and a lower number, diastolic, less than 90, or read 140-90. Whereas at the age of over 60 years, the normal standard is less than 150-90ths of a mm Hg. Blood pressure above normal means hypertension, high blood pressure. For normal people, the test can be done every one to two years. Meanwhile, people who have hypertension or hypotension need to get tested every year or more often. Cholesterol. Cholesterol is basically a type of fat that the body needs, but excessive amounts can clog blood vessels and trigger heart disease and stroke. Normal cholesterol is as follows. Good cholesterol, high-density lipoprotein slash HDL, should be above 60 mg slash DL. Bad cholesterol, low-density lipoprotein slash LDL, should be below 100 mg slash DL. Triglycerides should be less than 150 mg slash DL. Total cholesterol should be below 200 mg slash DL. For people with normal health conditions, the test can be done every 5 years, starting at the age of 35. However, if you are obese, 
have diabetes or hypertension, have a history of heart disease or stroke in your family, smoke, this test can be started at the age of 20 and needs to be more frequent. Like a blood sugar test, a cholesterol test requires taking a blood sample. Heart health. The heart is one of the vital organs in the human body. Cardiac examination can be done with an electrocardiogram, ECG, test or known as a heart record. Tests are done to determine the electrical activity of the heart. This test can detect abnormal heartbeats or other disorders such as blocked blood vessels. This test is done if you experience symptoms of heart disease, such as pain in the chest or palpitations. Get your eyes checked every one to two years especially if you have vision problems. In addition to visual disturbances, examination of children aims to see the possibility of lazy eyes or crossed eyes. Whereas in adults, examination can find out the condition. Retinopathy, damage to the blood vessels behind the eyes, for example due to diabetes. Glaucoma, damage to the optic nerve and increased eye pressure. Cataracts, cloudy eyes. Related tests may include Retinal examination, the eye is dropped with a special liquid so that the cornea enlarges, then it is exposed to light so that the doctor can see the inner structure of the eye. Examination of the eye muscles, the doctor will look at your eye movements. Visual acuity check, using a poster with letters on it. Examination with a slit lamp to examine the eyelids, eyelashes, cornea, iris, lens, and the fluid space between the cornea and iris. Perimetry test to check the ability of the eyes to look sideways without moving the eyeballs. Intraocular pressure test, tonometry, to check the pressure in the eye. Skin. To detect skin cancer, an examination can be carried out and if necessary, taking a skin sample or skin biopsy. Skin cancer is the growth of cells in the skin in an uncontrolled manner. The test can be done immediately when abnormal changes are found in the skin, such as a lump, moles that change color, size, or bleed, or the presence of abnormal tissue on the skin that is red, white, blue, or black with an irregular border. Ear. Get a hearing test, audiometric, if you have hearing loss. Audiometry is used to evaluate possible deafness, determine the type and extent of hearing loss. Examination of infants and children is needed to detect hearing problems that can interfere with the ability to learn, speak, and understand language. The check is made by looking at your response to sound. Tooth. No one is free from plaque and tartar. Because of this, it is necessary to have regular dental examinations every six months from an early age to detect conditions such as abscesses or purulent swelling due to infection, damage between the teeth, damage to the jawbone, impacted teeth due to abnormal growth of wisdom teeth, cysts or tumors. If tartar is found, the doctor will clean it or. In addition, if signs of problems with the teeth are found, Further examination with x-rays is needed to determine the medical action needed. Bone. Bone density tests aim to determine bone strength and help diagnose osteoporosis, brittle bones. Examination is done by x-ray or CT scan. The test needs to be done by women aged 65 and over, men aged 70 and over, or anyone at risk of osteoporosis. Risk factors include long-term use of steroid drugs, smoking, consuming alcoholic beverages, being too low in body weight, or having a family history of osteoporosis. Other. In addition to the above examinations, several tests or other supporting examinations may be needed, such as examinations for sexually transmitted diseases, STDs, and hepatitis B for people who are sexually active and have more than one sex partner as well as examinations for lung diseases for heavy smokers. The following are some diseases that include PMS and the necessary examinations. Gonorrhea, requires a urine test. In some cases, it is necessary to collect fluid samples from the urethra in males and the cervix in females, as well as the throat. Genital herpes, the doctor will check the symptoms and take samples from your sores. 
HIV requires an antibody test, immunoassay. Syphilis requires blood tests and examination of fluids from syphilis sores. Hepatitis B the examination for hepatitis B is the same as the HIV test, namely taking blood samples to determine the presence and activity of this disease. How much someone smokes can be measured by the number of smoking pack years. A person's smoking pack year number is measured by multiplying the number of packs of cigarettes consumed per day by the number of years he has smoked. So for example, someone who spends two packs of cigarettes every day for four years, he is said to have eight smoking pack years. Here are some of the risks that heavy smokers have and the checks needed. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, requires lung function tests that measure the amount of air in the lungs, the velocity of air in and out, and an X-ray of the chest. Lung cancer, requires a CT scan. People aged 55 to 80 years with 30 smoking pack years or more and are still actively smoking or have just stopped smoking in the last 15 years, and anyone who has a risk of lung cancer after consulting a doctor, should have this examination. Apart from the medical checkups mentioned above, make sure you also know about certain tests to detect certain types of cancer, which can appear silently, without causing any symptoms. Medical checkup is an effective anticipatory step in detecting the risk of disease presence in the body. Do it regularly to prevent the development of more severe disease in the future.